Thank you very much. Game parking is a bitch around here. Big Chuko! Who's your daddy? Put on your seat belts, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. I love El Paso. People bitch about the weather, I say it's preparing me for hell. I like the hot weather, man. People die of heat exhaustion. Dying of heat exhaustion has got to be the dumbest thing you can do. Because there's no reason for it. Take your ass to a supermarket. Lay on the frozen fish section. Some lady's going, is there any fish? Aquí está el catch of the day. And it's already been breaded for you. What are they? Think of it as Mrs. Paul's. And weather, weather affects us. When it's cold, it only makes women sex you. Your nipples get hard. <laughs> women are always doing this at concerts, you know? They always, they always cover themselves. They're outside, they got the mini skirt. You know, they always ask, is it cold or is it me? Just move your hands, let me see your nipples. I don't know. <laughs> when it gets cold, you get sexy. For men, when it gets cold, we, our, our nuts disappear. <laughs> I was in Chicago. It was 10 below zero. My balls went up into my stomach. I didn't even know they had a garage. It gets cold, man. It does terrible things to your penis. You're, you're out there apologizing, going, no, really, it's not like that all the time. You don't have any balls. And your dick looks like an eraser. And when it gets hot, the opposite happens. When it gets hot, your huevos droop down. And the older you get, the further they droop. On my mother's side, all the, on my mother's side, they live forever. My grandpa, man, on a hot day, like here in El Paso, his balls would come out of his pant legs. He'd walk around the house and he'd step on his nuts. He called it machine gun. I, I step on my nuts. Hey, somebody give me some duct tape. I love my grandpa, man, but when he went to the toilet, his balls would fall in the water. <laughs> and he'd holler at my mom, Maria, Maria, my nuts are tengo los huevos en agua. And my mother's cooking, going, well, don't flush, dad. Don't flush, shit. I don't know where it'll wind up. It'll wind up on the Gulf of Mexico someplace. My mother would actually call me, come here, Paul. Ben, go help your grandpa. Hell, what the hell am I gonna do for you? Here, take this wooden spoon that I bought in Juarez. Go over there and get his huevos out of the water. And hurry up and bring me the spoon, I'm cooking. We all are trying to find a woman like our mother, subconsciously or consciously. We are. And it's hard because they don't make them like that anymore. You know, when our mother was young, my mother used to buy chickens for five cents and she would raise them and would tell us, those aren't pets, don't give them names. No nada que Chewy, Albert y, y, y Selena, none of these names. These aren't pets, it's just food. Call them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> if you want. And don't play with the chickens. Don't get friendly. And when she was about to, see, my mother would kill a chicken and she would grab the chicken by the neck. Nowadays, you can't get a woman to choke your chicken. <laughs> you know? And talk about people who don't waste nothing, man. My mother would pluck out all the feathers, stuff them into pillows, <laughs> take the beats and make guitar picks for my uncles and my father, make rosary beats out of the neck bones of the chicken. <laughs> en el nombre de la gallina también. And everybody knew what part of the chicken was yours. I'm the youngest of 12, so I knew my part was that I didn't even know until I grew up that you weren't really supposed to eat that cartilage part of the chicken, you know? It's not bone, it's not meat, it's gristle. I used to get that in the chicken butt. Everybody knew, my father, the breadwinner, he would get the breast, 
you know, my sister, the leg, my other sister, the other leg, my brother, the wing, the thigh, the neck, the, you know, everybody knew their part. The baby, me, I got the chicken butt and the cartilage. <laughs> and it was delicious. I'd be there, you know, mm -hmm. <clears throat> till my brother George ruined it for me. He goes, hey, you know, you're, you know what you're eating, right? Chicken. Yeah, it's chicken. You're eating the fundillo. <laughs> what? No, oh, man, it's chicken. Yeah. The fundillo la gallina is what you're eating. <laughs> I'd ask my mom, Jorge dice que I'm eating the fundillo, the butt chicken, the, the, the fundillo. Cállate, cómete tu culito. What do you think they make McNuggets out of? Go over there. That's chicken maculo they're selling to us. Think we don't know? When it's all said and done, it ain't money you want. It's family and friends. Nothing gets you better than family and friends, man. That's the best. If you ain't got that, you ain't got nothing. I know, I have a large family. I'm the youngest of 12. I asked my mother, how come you had so many kids? She said, well, shit, I didn't know all of you were gonna survive. <laughs> Me and your father, we figured half and half, but chingo, you guys clung on to life like a chicle in the sun. <laughs> I think Mexican parents have a lot of kids because that's their form of social security. They know one of them might make it, and that's what they're gonna live with. <laughs> Whoever has the most money, that's what they live with. Right now, I'm the lucky one. <laughs> My family's out of their mind. I used to always run around and telling jokes, and my mother was always, apasiwate. She's a real Mexican, apasiwate. Shut up, quit climbing around. Why are you such a payaso? This is a tribute to my mother, by the way. This payaso cafe. Because she, she used to call me, Ay, por qué eres tan payaso? You're a payaso. Running around. <laughs> telling jokes. <laughs> laughing all the time. Life isn't about laughing. <laughs> I never got that. No, but what is it about? It's about, you know, other than just laughing all the time. What could be better, people, than just laughing all the time? No, cabrón, ¿qué estás riéndote todo el tiempo? You're laughing around. Where is that going to take you in life? <laughs> of course, she doesn't say that no more. Now she goes, mijo, no tienes otro thousand. <laughs> ¿Sabes? Porque ya el dinero just doesn't go as far as it goes. I love my parents so much, I lost my dad. I didn't lose him. I mean, I know where he's at right now. <laughs> but see, that's another thing. Our funerals are different. You know why? Because Mexican funerals are catered. There's food. It's, it's like a family reunion in a quinceañera all rolled up into one. <laughs> Mexican funeral, 